congratulations, Warren, on this uh, 30th Christmas Jam, and for the past, I forget how many years, fundraiser for ha uh, Habitat for Humanity. About 25 or something like that. 25 of them. Um, it's wonderful. It feels like a, a particularly nostalgic one, because it's the 30th Christmas Jam, and uh, the, the 20th of pre-jam. If you remember that very first pre-jam, came on down to Spindale with... We came down to Spindale, yeah. With a couple of folks that had just yeah. met a little bit ago, and then now look at them now. Derek Trucks. We did that twice. Uh, you, well, you did it down there twice. I remember we brought uh, Derek Trucks and Susan Tedeschi, and Peter Milton, and the Bottle Rockets. Yep, came out the next year. Uh, it was... Uh, I still remember. I just, I, I love how that thing just kind of grew and grew, and look where we are now with this amazing lineup. And, and Chris Duarte. Yes, that's right. Yep. Some of those, some of those are out there, and uh, you can uh, you can pick them up, and it supports the great funding fundraising here that Warren does here with a small skeleton crew of great folks that have been uh, raising funds for Asheville Area Habitat for Humanity. This is your hometown. Uh, you pick Habitat, and you just kind of decide to stick with it, and it's just so wonderful. I, I think it's. We're going to talk with the executive director a little bit, but $2.3 million raised so far by now. That's a lot of houses. That's a lot of houses. You, you, haven't, you haven't banged your thumb yet, hammering yet, have you? Well, it, it's all due to the amazing amount of, of wonderful musicians and artists that have contributed through the years. And so uh, it, it's, it's a group effort in the truest sense of the world. Yeah, yeah it's wonderful. And, uh, and I gotta say, uh, this, is, this is a wonderful way to bring the WNCW community as well together. You've been really, really supportive of us with Pre-Jam and just throughout the year with what you do. So all of us, and many, many nonprofits, thank you for what you do. Uh, you, you, you're, not the, you're not the first musician to do a great fundraiser. I'm thinking of like George Harrison, that big concert for Bangladesh and all, but I'm wondering, where did you uh, get this idea to, to fuse um, these great shows and fundraising together and do it so well. Is there a business model? Is there, is there someone growing up in Asheville that planted the seed for you? Well, the very first Christmas day 30 years ago was in a club smaller than this, and it was an opportunity for all local musicians to get together and play uh, at the one time of year that it seemed like we were all in town, which was the holiday season. Uh, we weren't thinking about the money or the charity or anything, we just wanted to play music and the small amount of money we raised, we would pick a charity and donate. Uh, the next year was, it was a little bigger, the next year is a little bigger, then it kind of just grew wings and, and uh, took off on its own. Then it became uh, a bigger event due to people like Alan Woody and Derek Trucks and Kevin King and Edward McCain and Dave Schools and, and uh, uh, Bobby Keys from the Rolling Stones came one year, Toy Caldwell from the Marshall Tucker Band came one year, and it just kind of turned into something that beyond what we could expect. Uh, when we moved into the Thomas Wolfe Auditorium, the second year we turned away, I think, a couple of thousand people, so then we moved into the arena where it's been ever since. Um, but something organic just turned into something beautiful that we had, had no idea. So I, 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 You mentioned some of the, the familiar names here that we see on stage for these fundraisers, but just shout out to all the people that work behind the scenes to make these great fundraising events happen. Uh, you put across some great issues together with your s &W Foundation, your wife, Steph, and everyone that works to make it happen. It's wonderful. Uh, absolutely, and then, uh, everybody at Hardhead that works uh, starting around March or April mm -hmm. to put this all together. And it's, it's not something that uh, happens quickly. It, it, it takes most of the year to put together, uh, but it's worth it because it's, it's a beautiful thing that you guys are doing, so. Yeah, 